Hi everyone. If you've ever wanted to create a custom frame in Canva that has one part that is the customizable frame itself and the other part as a static image, I'm going to show you how to do that easily. This is especially useful for custom prints with the Eddy Edible printer where you can easily swap out background images while keeping certain parts of the image unchanged. In order to create a two-part frame, we're going to start with a graphic. First, I'm starting a new project in Canva. I'm going to find an Apple graphic for a back-to-school theme, so let's go with this Apple emoji graphic and resize it to fit the page. We're going to download this image as a PNG file with a transparent background. Now we'll move into Inkscape, where we will trace the graphic. I'm going to open the Apple emoji PNG I just downloaded from Canva. After I select the image, the prompt will ask for the import settings. I don't change any of the default settings and click OK. Once the image is open, I click on it to highlight it. Go to Path, Trace Bitmap. This will open up the Trace Bitmap options in the right rail. Select Multicolor, then Colors from the Brightness Steps drop down. You should see the same image in the preview. Click Apply at the bottom. Now I will go to the Layers and Objects pane in the right rail to see all the paths that were created from the trace. Now, we're going to sort out the various paths created between parts we will keep in the print and parts we will remove for the frame. First, I'm going to remove the original image labeled Image 1 because we already recreated it in pieces under the G2 folder. To easily see what each path represents, you can select the eye icon next to the path to hide and unhide. I can see that path 2 represents the emoji face, so to better organize, I will rename it under object properties and call it emoji face. After I rename it, I will close out the properties pane and come back to the layers. I will do the same for the leaf path. For path 5 and 6, I'm going to merge them together by selecting both paths, going to path union. You can see that the leaf is now a solid color and became path 6. Again, I'm going to rename to something more descriptive. Since path 7 is the apple body sliver, I'm going to drag it up below path 4, which is the rest of the apple body. Same as with the leaf, I will select both paths and union them together so they are a single part. I will then rename this and the remainder of the paths, but this is my personal preference and by no means necessary to accomplish the frame. Also, I delete path 9 as this is the white part of the image. I'll rename the folder named G2 to Keep so I can store the parts of the image that I want to print as is. Now I'm going to take the apple body and move it above and out of the folder because this is the part that I want to make as a frame. Next, we're going to set up the body path to become a custom frame for Canva. In order to do so, we need to bring in a JPG image overlay. So I'm going to go to File, Import, and select any JPG file. Note the importance of the image, specifically being JPG or a JPEG. The file I'm using is quite large, so I will size it down accordingly. I want to make sure that the JPEG is right behind the Apple body, so I'm going to drag the body right above the new image one. Next, we want to cut the JPEG image in the Apple shape, so I select both image one and body. Go to Object, Clip, Set Clip. Now we are just about done. Finally, we will export. Be sure to select the portable document format or PDF in the drop-down and click Export. This PDF is now saved on your device. The final step is to bring the PDF back into the Canva project. I'll create a new page and then drag the PDF into Canva. Once it's uploaded, click on it to bring it into the new page.
I'm going to highlight just the apple body that has my logo image and then hit delete. Now, the body of the apple is a custom frame that you can drop any background image into while the emoji face, stem, and leaf remain intact. Just for fun, I'll add some back-to-school photos available in Canva to demonstrate how cool this is. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you can easily create your own two-part frames to use with your prints. Happy cookie printing!